What we're doing here, we're fixing to start a spotlight line. Obviously, it's 30 minutes after sunset, so it's good and dark. It's been dark for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, here it is in the middle of September, and it's 8.41 p.m. We're in Central Texas. We're going to start a spotlight line. Obviously, you need two good quality spotlights. You don't want to use the big 1 million candle power because the deer won't look at it. Uh, these are small 200,000 candle power. Those work great. Uh, anything probably 500,000 or less, but certainly not more. We have a data sheet that's pre-printed. I don't know if you can see it, but it says bucks, does, fawns, and you know, very, very nice, clean, neat, but you can just write it on the back of a napkin, bucks, does, fawns, undetermined, that kind of stuff. But I also like to count ringtails and possums and coons and predators and that kind of stuff. And then obviously a good pair of binoculars. That's imperative because it's at nighttime. We're going to be counting deer out there maybe to 150, 200 yards. And, and is that a fawn without spots? Is that a spike or is that a doe? And if it's a buck, does he have eight points, 10 points? So a good pair of quality binoculars is critical. When you start a spotlight line, you want to set your odometer to zero. And, and record, if you'll notice the spotlight survey line, it goes, it, it has all the way down to 15. Most spotlight lines are 15 miles long or less. So as we go through this line, this predetermined line that we've already laid out and calculated, I'm going to mark what I see where I see it. So if I go, you know, between zero and one mile, I'm going to mark the animal I see within that first mile, with the second mile, third mile. That will show me where these animals are located about on the ranch. The ranch we're on tonight is about 4,000 acres. It's not all created equal. No, no ranch is. So at the end of the day, I can see where the ranch or where the deer herd is, is kind of congregated. Therefore, I know where to address my harvest pressure. So set your odometer to zero. Take your binoculars. Take your, take your spotlights and record not only the deer, but where on the line that you see the deer.